<sighs> Where to start? Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kimberly and welcome to another day on Ray of Joke. Hope you all are staying healthy, well, and blessed. Uh, I'd like to use this platform to discuss uh, different topics related to perceptions and behaviors around personal growth and overall wellness, with the goal and intention being to promote a well-rounded relationship with both in our lives. Apologize for the weird camera angle then um, you're used to. I might just go back to how it was before I was trying something different, um, but I think I like the old way better. I would like to say that this is not one of my regular videos. Um, I didn't really expect to do a reaction video um, anytime soon, but um, you know, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, I usually prepare what I want to say beforehand uh, just to keep the content I discuss concise and relevant. I know editing is a thing, but um, still, that is what I like to do. However, today I'm going to uh, talk to you all with very little prep work, um, just really speaking from the heart. I wanted to talk about it because it needs to be said, um, just given everything that has already been said. I do want to preface that I'm not um, a psych professional, I'm not a certified health professional, so just bear that in mind with the thoughts that I'm giving based on my observations, what I've experienced, and hopefully with the intention that we can kind of glean some learning lessons moving forward. Before we get into the topic, you might have noticed that I haven't really posted many videos for quite a while, um, for a few weeks now. Actually, as I was um, putting together my next video, um, I think this was around the first week of July, I ended up getting sick. Not with COVID, by the way. I ate something probably that didn't agree with me, but I did not feel well, and the next week I just kind of had hit a mental wall kind of in that process I went back to things that you know could just help me process the state I was in um, and then also um, I was thinking on different ideas that I could do as far as video topics as well so um, you know looking forward to moving along with that but that's just to let you know where I've been at. Um, I didn't even plan on being here making this video. It's just something that I needed to get off my chest. So with that, um, let's get into it. So a lot of you are probably watching the Olympics. You might have um, heard or not heard that um, Simone Biles um, made the decision to lead the Olympic team finals. Reasons were, um, you know, for her mental well-being. She wanted to put herself in the best possible place, put them in the best possible place um, to proceed forward um, in the finals. Now, I wanted to discuss this because there was kind of an interesting reception, one that I'm not surprised about, but an interesting reception nonetheless. As much as there was negative, you know, the positive was that there was at least a lot more outpouring of support. That is always the hope. But of course, in any instance, if you're on a public stage, you're bound to get your supporters and your haters. So. I discussed this a little bit in another video and I talked about mental health and our relationship with it. Um, I also talked about a couple of components that relate to mental health, more like perceptions about ourselves um, in other videos as well. But um, as far as why mental health gets such a bad rap, um, I think it's mainly because we can't really see it, we can't measure it. It's not something we can touch and when I say we can't see it we can't really see it with the naked eye um, someone could look completely fine on the outside but inside they can be in turmoil as far as the reactions like I said I think everyone was maybe shocked maybe it was something that people weren't really expecting 
as far as my reaction, I was at first surprised mainly because I was thinking like, did she get injured? Like what happened? Because all I saw on my phone was that she um, made the decision to walk away and I didn't know what that was because of, but when I looked at it more, um, I saw what reason she stated for leaving, uh, which I personally thought was very commendable. I mean, she's been under the public eye for quite a while now, um, and every move, every decision, every thought, every sentence that comes from her has been viewed with the public eye. So, of course, it's it's a lot of pressure uh, to put in any individual. And I think sometimes we don't think about that deeply. I think sometimes that we like to hold people who are in the public eye to a pedestal, um, forgetting that they're human, um, which they very much are. They are not gods, they're not robots, they're human. Despite what you might think like, oh, but they signed up for this, they know what they were getting themselves into, that gives us no right to hold something over their lives. Um, it gives no one that right, despite whatever they might have signed up for. And you, the truth is, we don't know what's going on in their lives. Someone in the public eye, they are always under the radar, and a lot of the stuff they don't want to necessarily be public is made public whether they like it or not so they have to also deal with that mental baggage there was an instance a few months ago where it was um naomi osaka under the same kind of scrutiny um where she was taking a mental health break and with that i mean i was also pr pretty annoyed with some of the reactions you'll, you'll get those people who will say all these things um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I was proud that she took it in stride, what she needed to do, too. Um, but with this, I mean, because now we're at the Olympic stage and everyone is expecting Simone to perform because of that very reason, uh, there are people who are not that enthusiastic that she made the decision to do what she did. So let's kind of just break it down and discuss her as an athlete. There are different pressures that are being put on you. Um, and like I said, again, you are on a very public stage. Um, as soon as you're announced that you've been um, accepted into the Olympics to compete, um, the world media is on you. It's not just individual countries. Everyone is looking to you, looking to see you perform. So that's one layer of pressure. Another layer is whatever you have going on in your personal life. Um, a lot of these athletes have very strict regimens and I'm sure that's put strains in different areas of their personal life, um, especially if they don't have ready support um, in their personal life. So again, that's another layer of pressure. Um, then you have, of course, the physical pressure, which is something we can visibly see, where they put their bodies through a lot of stress a lot of um you know they they're trying to fine tune techniques and trying to build up their skills and at the olympic level at that point i don't even know how many hours a day you might be putting in just for training alone um but even building up to that because the olympics that's the pinnacle where you get to display your technique and skills but before that years, and we're not talking months, we're talking years of rigorous training, putting your body under intense physical pressure um, in order to perform the best that you can. If there is a misalignment of any of these, 
you can definitely, it's not just about messing up. It, you can do a lot of damage to yourself. Um, there have been people who've suffered injuries and unfortunately there have been people who suffered life altering injuries just because these areas were not in alignment. If your mind and your body is not in sync, this is what can happen. One specific consequence in gymnastics was um, Elena Mukina, and she was attempting a move that demanded near perfect timing. She even um, went on to say that she um, even spoke with her coach about the dangers of performing such a technique. Her coach did not really heed that warning or didn't really listen to her and you know had her do the move and what happened was that she ended up landing on her neck and becoming paralyzed for the rest of her life that's what i'm trying to say and say everything was in sync with her like she had no issues and still that was the result so imagine if someone's mind and body they're not on it they're not in sync then the results can be disastrous. If you're having trouble relating to this, like think about it this way. You're taking a test, good example. You're taking a test and I'm sure all of us has, has had an experience taking a test. Did you do better on those tests if you were incredibly stressed out or you, just were under a lot of mental pressure. Most of the time, the answer is going to be no. And that's just taking a test. We're not putting our bodies technically under any physical pressure, maybe our brains under some strain, but mental fortitude matters, especially if you're pushing your body to the brink of trying to perform. That's just one example. So hopefully that helps to understand how much this does matter. Would I have her um, continue to compete as she is just, just for a medal versus what could potentially happen if she were to continue competing? Like we're talking about potentially getting irreversible damage that can impact not only her career in the sport, but also her life. And I'm sure she takes it seriously, um, just given the work that she's done in the sport, um, given the, her rigorous training and the fact that she also stayed like for her team, even though she walked away, like she supported her team. I mean, that, that says a lot. Um, as far as one, you know, good outcome of all of this. Uh, there has been an outpour of support um, more than, you know, the people who are uh, criticizing her for her decision. Also, in the case of Naomi Osaka, I, f I think that was kind of our first, um, or one of our first, I should say, instances where we had to kind of confront um, that Yes, athletes can go through their mental health bouts. Um, and so I think that reaction might have been a little bit more mixed with this, than this one. I was at least glad that people did show support. Um, and more, more times than anything, I think the media likes to, they like to create conflict. So, um, if they can spin it off that way, then they'll find a way. Um, and that does play into public reaction. But again, it is nice that there are a lot more people who support their decisions than criticize them for it. Now I've spoken to quite a, you know, a couple of friends um, about this and, you know, we're kind of in alignment with what our thoughts are, but I did want to kind of explore what the other side of the argument is why like what were people who were criticizing the move kind of saying 
and overall, um, the, and I don't mean to generalize, but this is what I picked up on. Um, the overall consensus was like, why did she go then? Why did she go to the Olympics? Why put herself through that then um, if she was only going to walk away? And what I have to say to that are a couple of things. One is she can't predict the future. Circumstances change. We plan for tomorrow, but tomorrow might not go exactly to plan. There's only so much you can foresee. And did she foresee these instances coming into play? Probably not because she thought, okay, you know, I'm preparing myself for this. I'm from where I'm at, I can handle this. And she's competed at that level before. So it's like, I don't know, saying that if you've done a course several times, you're like, okay, I can do that same course again because I've completed it enough times. Um, I know what I'm capable of and yes, I can do it. So it's possible that she was just in that frame of mindset. Again, we can't fault her for that. We, she's not psychic. She can't tell that she's going to be met with those constraints and to the point where it starts to affect her psyche, okay? She can plan so much for those instances and I'm sure she does. But again, when it comes down to the present, we don't know until we're in that situation what, what we're really feeling. And she's gone through a lot, to be fair. Um, like, personally, she has, um, I mean, we, we know the story um, of what she's gone through, but that's a lot of mental pressure and you don't know if something's gonna come up, like if something's gonna trigger something, you don't know. But either way, regardless, she just wasn't in the right place and we should just move on from that. In my opinion, she doesn't owe anyone anything. Uh, she's She has a slew of accomplishments. You know, she's broken records at this point, but at the same time, like, we should look at her as being more than the accomplishments that she's had. Uh, it's not about like support Simone because she has given us enough wins and medals. Um, it's because she had to make a difficult decision, but she made it with herself in mind and her team in mind. And that says a lot about her character. She didn't quit despite what people are saying. If she still found a way to support her team, even when she had to make the decision that she did. So these are my thoughts, but let me know your thoughts on the matter in the comments. As far as next week, I will be posting um, a new video now that I'm kind of coming out of the woodwork um, after just taking my own mental break. Hoping to keep posting um, a video a week um, so that way, you know, keep the content going. And if you have any suggestions for any content you would like me to discuss, feel free to let me know. But to all my wonderful warriors out there, like always, stay golden.